Hey, what's up, everyone? Bubble Kings here, and welcome back to some more Hearthstone Arena. We're going to continue our Paladin run here. We did pretty well so far. We got some nice redemptions off, which allowed us to uh, get some wins the last time. We'll see how we go, though. So they also announced the new expansion for Hearthstone today, actually. That was kind of cool. Whisper of the Old Gods and see fun and stuff. That was uh, really interesting. I'm surprised... Uh, they did it like so many cards of the expansion are going to be um, based around one legendary. So that'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Okay, what are we going to do here? Should we keep Warhorse Trainer, I think? Um, Yeah, we'll get rid of the other ones. They're really high mana cost. I'm only keeping the Warhorse Trainer in case we don't get anything at all. Because then we can um, hear a power on turn 2 and then get a 2 1 on turn 3 if we need to. Okay. Well, this is not looking good. Especially since they got such an early drop. Hmm. We do have Keeper of Oldham, though. I'm um, Oldham and though. So we can play this on turn 3. And then turn into a 3 3 after we attack something. We could coin out a Scarlet Purifier, actually. That might not be too bad. Um. So we could coin out Scar Purifier, or we could coin out Warhorse Trainer. I think it might... That one does it to any, even if they damage their fire minions. So I think we'll go with Warhorse Trainer here. And that way we can... If he plays like another um, Death Rider creature or something, we can Scarlet Purify that as well. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Okay. Oh, that is actually really nice. Wait, let's think this through, actually. Is this the right thing to do? We could do this. This might be better. I think this is better because that way we can um, trade into the zombie chow. Yeah, I think this is a better play because otherwise you could just trade the zombie chow into this for free. But then we could play. Well, we could have played Secure Purifier after he trade the zombie's chow into it. That's okay. Hmm. Interesting. So, what well, we could do this, but it won't kill either of them. Charge. So, I think what we're gonna do is go like this, this, for duty. and then uh, buff this. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. So now if he trades his Shredder into any of it... Oh, jeez. That's bad. Okay, that worked out, that worked out okay for us. That worked out really well for us, actually. Because now we can trade into the guy for free, pretty much. Hmm, actually. Yeah, we can trade into it for free like this. Is that what we want to do, though? I can't see really any other plays. We could play Blessing of King, but then it still dies. So I think this is the only um, play we can do. Okay, there we go. We have entered a Colosseum here, so... If he starts filling up the board, we could just um, play that. Let's see. Wind Fury. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Okay. So this isn't too great for us. What we could do is, um, play Enter the Colosseum and I hope it lands on that it kills off the free 4 instead of the free 3. Mm. Let's try that. Oh no, the free 4 lived. Damn. Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. We took out 2. What did we take out? We took out a Sabre and this, or what's that, like 4 mana? Five mana? Five or six, not too bad. We got a card advantage on it though. Oh, this is bad though. Oh god, we, we don't have anything on the board so we can't get off our... Okay. I'm gonna play G's here just so I can you can try to stay on the board. Because we need something to stick so we can Blessing of Kings twice next turn to take out the Raider. Hopefully, he leaves the G's alive. 
Yes, okay, good, this is good. RG's lived. So that means we can take out his suit and RG's will live at the same time to trade into the Boulder Fist. Okay, that was lucky. We have a lot of um draw here, but it's really high cost, so we can't really play it. Unless he floods the board. And we somehow clear it. We got 18 damage if we win Fury. Oh, he's going to take it down. Demon Heart. Damn. Okay, so we're going to be on 9 now. We pretty much need to clear... Oh, nice draw. He's going to be able to kill it off with his... um. Oh, go for free. But then we can use our weapon to kill it off. And hopefully, we won't die. Because when we run our weapon into it, we'll be on 9. Um, if he pings... I guess he's probably going to run the Mana Wraith into our face. It'll be on 7. So we need to draw something real nice here. Save us. What to do? What to do? Let's see. Hmm... We need to somehow get a lot of minions to die in one turn so we can get some cheap draws off. So otherwise I don't think we're going to be able to come back. Hmm. Patron? Oh jeez, that's lethal isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, is he have over lethal or something? Okay, I guess he has um... More than lethal. So let's go around this into here and see if we can draw anything. I don't think we have anything that will save us though. A taunt. Yeah, we don't have anything here that will save us. Damn. Okay. Oh, we lost this one. Damn. That was actually, uh, yeah, not too great. We needed something to stick onto the board a bit more. But, um, I only think we could stick with the Jeeves, and Jeeves isn't too good up <laughs> this time. Warlock. This shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, he has lots of minions to just flood the board so we can get some nice draws off. Um, let's see here. Chain Spider is good. Let's get rid of Blessing of Kings at the moment, I think. I would rather get a better 2 drop than Lance Carrier. Mm, I don't know. This is a bit hard. If we keep Lance... I guess we can keep Lance Carrier. This is actually not too bad, actually. We can um, hear a power on turn 2. We can actually hear a power on turn 1. That might not be too bad. Let's do that. Hear a power turn 1 with the coin. And then we can play Lance Carrier next turn on it. So we have a free one. That should trade with anything he plays. And then on turn 3 we can go out with a Warhorse Trainer. That seems like a good plan. So we'll go like this. Run this in the, the Mech Warper. There's also some Blessing of Kings here. So if we have ball control we can really take um, the game over pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. I think we want to go with Warhorse Trainer. Yeah. Okay. Because he's probably going to run that guy into Lance Carrier and then we can run the Warhorse Trainer into the Razor Fin after it's 2 2. He hero powered, actually. That's really good for us. She gives nice tempo. Lead. If he goes face, oh. What, can we do anything if he goes face? We could play with Blessing of Kings. On the Lance Carrier, probably would be the best. I wonder what he's doing. Does he have some sort of AoE board clear? He might. He might have a board clear, which is why he was um, doing that. Now, I think what we want to do is get some minions on the board. So we have lots of options. We can get a free Blessing of King kill off here with Shorter Mini Bot. Okay, this is pretty nice for us, actually. So we'll go like this. Trade into it for free. We'll use the Warhorse here because... 
all of his board clears deal more than one damage anyway. So the only situation where this is um a bad is if they have unstable ghoul. Because Hellfire would deal free anyway. So either way it'll be dead. Okay. We got a nice combo here with Stampeding Kodos, Outer on turn um eight. But we're not there yet. So what should we do? We kill him off here with this, which will leave us with a 6-2. If we do this, we'll be left with one life guy, which is probably better, just so um, we can get around any sort of board clear he has. And then we'll just hero power. Okay. So this way, if he has like a hellfire or something, we'll still be left with a 6-3 on the board. Demon rack. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. This is three or more damage, so that's not going to help us. We could use this and Aldor it to make sure it's not a threat. That might not be too bad of an idea. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think we will just Aldor it and, um,. Oh, I really don't want to do it, actually. Let's just go, um, Tomb Spider here and run our face into it. So if he does, um, buff it, we'll still deal damage to it. So let's see. Stranglethorn, um, I think Stranglethorn Tiger's the best one here. It might be better to actually just kill it off. Let's do that. That's not too bad. We could have put him to 12, actually. This, this still works out fine. Do we have lethal? 9, 10, 11, 16. Oh, wait, is that lethal? No, we're one off lethal. One mana, that is. Okay, oh, actually, we have to watch out for this. Hmm. So we could go for a 50 50 here with the Boulder Fist Ogre. Or we could just buff it, take it out. Hmm, it might not be too bad to go with a 50-50 here. Because next turn we'll have 9 mana so we can use Reckless Rocketeer and Seal of Champion. To uh, get lethal. So let's see, 9, 10, 11. So we're on 11, that'll put him to 7. So Rocketeer and Seal of Champion will kill him off. So we might go with a 50-50 here. Let's see if we get it. Oh no, we didn't get it, that's bad. Um, okay, so should we, um, For justice. Ooh, let's just go face here, I think. Yeah, we'll put him into lethal range, and yeah, we can just take him out easy. Even if he trades into our guys, yeah, I don't think there's anything that can save him here. You'll need to have, like, a silence and then, um... A heal or something. Yes, yeah, silence and shadow flame to clear the board and like a heal. There's a taunt. Okay, that's actually pretty nice for him. But we still have lethal here, luckily. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure we do this right. We'll go around the long way to make sure we hit his face. There we go. Cool. Oh, we didn't go too bad. I think we made the right choice by going face there. I don't know if the, we should have done the 50-50 there though. It did kind of put us in a bad situation. Like maybe we should have just outdoor it and um... Gone for face. Yeah, that's probably the better play. Just outdoor it, go for face and play something else. Like just hero power or something if we have to. Because we left him with um... Three different minions that can attack on the board, which it, which could um if he had another like power overwhelming or something could have been really bad for us. But luckily, he only had one. Okay. Oh, this is really nice. Two, three, four, right there, and all really good drops. Let's keep this hand in. Unfortunately, we don't have a one drop though. Might draw into one though. Let's see. Well, I think we only have like the taunt guy, don't we? 
Yeah, I think we only have like the two one torn or something. But this isn't too bad though. Two, three, four, five. Got something to do every turn. Shield a mini belt will trade with his gnome, but let's go with the weapon play, I think. I think the weapon play might be better. Because then if you play the free 2 on turn 2, we can take it out for free and develop board presence. Give us a nice tempo. Let's see what he does. Oh no, he's going to coin out a free drop, okay. Bathe in flame. That's fine for us, I guess. If we can get to um turn 5 here and that's still on the board, that would be nice. Then we could just code it for free. Hmm. We could blessing a king that ogre next turn, but it's like a 50-50 if it actually kills the minion. We might not want to do that. Okay, let's see how we go. We can go this into here and then weapon if it hits. No, it's going to miss, is it? Damn. That's uh, pretty bad because... Yeah... That's not good at all. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We can take this out now at least. And then I guess we can... Go this and hero power. Okay. So what is this bad to? I guess even swipe it's not too bad. Against, cause swipe... You'll what, kill the ogre. And then... Oh actually it's kinda bad against swipe. Yeah, it is not too great. We do have um, some nice answers there. To whatever he plays. Okay. The battle. Um. Hmm. Now. Oh. This is a bit hard. What are we gonna do? So we could buff this up and see what comes out of the shredder. Let's see how we go here. As long as it's not a doomsday, we're fine, I think. Yeah. Again, we'll throw this tournament attendee out. So either he hero powers, which means he only could play a free mana minion, which is pretty helpful to us, or he um uses the ooze, which obviously kills the ooze. So it's pretty good for us either way. 2 free. Nice. That means we can cuddle it. So that was lucky. They chose the um, 2 free instead of the 3 2. I wonder why he did that though. I guess the Consecrate? Yeah, he was worried about Consecrate really screwing him over, probably. Because if we had Consecrate, he would have lost all of his board and we could have developed it with um, Hero Power. So, we could keep her of Oldham and the Tail Slider here. Um, Tail Strider, sorry. That wouldn't be too bad. But what else are we going to do this turn? We could play this and then the Purifier, but I think we'll go with the Jewel Scarab and see what we can get out of it. Okay, we got another Jewel, I mean Scarlet Purifier. Hmm. Okay. So, this is 100% going into this ooze here. That means we can play this and go into here. And this is a pretty good play, I think. It does well against like MC Tech and all that stuff. If he has swipe, he, clear, he can clear the board actually. But that'll take up his whole turn and then we can develop with two Scarlet Purifiers, which wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. Let's see how he goes here. Because you can't kill much with the 2-3 on the board at the moment. What can he do? It looks like he doesn't have too many options. He hasn't been hovering over his card, so... It looks like he's really out of um, options here. We'll see, though. And maybe south? Okay. So that means he's probably going to try and keep that guy stealth. 
So there's a target for a newbie stuff to go off on? No? Oh, he, okay, he's gonna take out the 6 freedom. Interesting. Well, this works out for us, I guess. <laughs> I'm a bit lucky there, I guess. With our uh, Discover there with another Scarlet Purifier. Allows us to take that out for pretty much free. I only have to use 1-1. Uh, one, one. Okay. This is pretty good as well. Our board state. Because we know he doesn't have a swipe. He would have used it before if he does. He doesn't have any board clear, it looks like. So all these cheap low um, health minions aren't too bad. Draconoid. Interesting. We could silence that though, so that's probably what we're going to do. How close are we to lethal actually? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Okay, so we're free off lethal. So we probably don't want to play um, Zombie Chow here. Well, what's the most efficient way to clear the board here? I guess it's using these two guys on the left here. We could just go face, actually. I mean, we're going to be close to lethal anyway. How close are we going to be? So we have seven more damage. Uh, if we run these two in, we we'll have two, ten, eleven, sixteen. Okay, so we are we're pretty far off lethal still. I mean, pretty close to lethal, even if we run these guys in. So that should be fine. Better play it safe in case he has like a mark of the wild or something. Could make it a real pain to get through. Especially because he could trade into the Guardian's knife for free. Hmm. I think there's many options for him to get out of this. Maybe Tree of Life or something? Force of Nature? Okay. Sense. <laughs> Force of Nature Savage Roll. Okay. Clear the board up. Or is he just going to go face for the lulls? He could do a pretty good job of clearing the board. Take out these two, take out this. We'll have six damage. So he would live. Surprisingly. Six, seven, eight. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Though we drew into lethal. That was an interesting play at the end there. I didn't think he would do that. Thought he would rather take out the 2 1. And then use his face to take out like the 1 1 or something. I guess he was. He didn't have anything big in his hand, like single target damage or anything like that. Okay. How do we go here? So we lost 2. No, we won 2, lost 1. Which is pretty good. 4 1 at the moment. We haven't drawn redemption in any of these games this time. It was surprising because we actually got redemption like every time in our first two games. But we've been getting busting at Kings all the time now. <laughs> yeah, busting at Kings actually done really well for us. He's a pretty good card though. So you expect that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.